It's been almost 14 years since the second episode of Half-Life was released, and during that time, fans have been begging for Half-Life 3. But the closest thing anybody got to a continuation of the story was Half-Life Alex. So I decided that if Valve aren't going to make an actual Half-Life 3, then I would. Also, we're aiming to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you aren't subscribed, then um, subscribe. Before I actually start making the game, I just want to say it's not going to be called Half-Life 3, because that would get me sued. No, it's called Life 3 Half. Alright, so I actually haven't played Half-Life before. Hey, don't press it. Don't you press it. I see you. Don't. So I'm just going to spend some time doing some research. So the first thing I had to do was just get the main mechanics of Half-Life working, which starts with FPS movement. This was pretty easy to achieve. I just put a bean in the game and allowed him to move with a few simple lines of code. Now, one of the main ways you interact with things in Half-Life is using the gravity gun. So I decided to add that next. It was pretty straightforward to code, but I struggled to find a good free 3D model to use and ended up searching the internet for a while before I found something I'm happy with. I've always just wished there was a game creation tool which automatically gives me tons of free models to use in my games. Introducing Core, the sponsor of this video and funder of my waffle supply. If you somehow haven't heard of Core, Core is the new game creation platform powered by Unreal Engine. It allows you to create high quality AAA games with no coding and without all the game breaking bugs. Core provides thousands of music, sound and art assets for you to use. There's also built in multiplayer so you can publish your game instantly for others to play. And if you do know how to code, you can even create your own game logic using Lua, as well as make your own scripts and 3D models. And hey, if making games isn't your thing, then don't worry, because Core has over 20,000 games made by its community for you to play. But here is the real kicker. Core is 100% free. Not only that, but you can even make money with your games with the Core Perks program, which shares 50% of its revenue with Core creators. That is far better than the revenue share of any other game creation platform like Roblox or Fortnite created. So not only can Core put money into my bank account, but yours too. Many Core creators have already been able to pay bills, buy their dream cars, and quit their day jobs, all with the help of the Perks program. Personally, when I first used Core, I was taken aback by just how easy it is to make whatever you want. You don't need any code at all to make fun and amazing looking games. You can reimagine content shared by other creators, and if you really want to, you can build games from scratch by scripting in Lua. I can confidently say that downloading Core is a great first step for anybody who wants to get into making games, so use the link in the description to download Core for free and start making your own games. Seriously, why haven't you clicked it yet? It's free, it's fun, and you can earn money from people playing your games. Back to the gravity gun, if I wanted to pick up an object, all I would have to do was disable its collider, then just smoothly move it to a spot in front of the player. The next thing I worked on was the pistol from Half-Life, and at first I had this, which is a bit disturbing, so I fixed the positioning of the hands, and then remembered that I was using Unity's high definition render pipeline, which allows me to use ray tracing, so I decided to check how the ray trace reflections looked. So I decided to disable reflections. After that, I figured that since I was making Half-Life 3, it needed to be more futuristic than the past games. So I just replaced the previous pistol model I was using with this futuristic one. And after using raycasts to give you the ability to actually shoot things, as well as some feedback, the gun was looking pretty good. But of course, I needed some enemies to shoot, and I settled on headcrabs as being the main enemy for my game, because they're cool. It really wasn't too hard to make them walk towards you and then jump at you when in range. Discombobulate. I also just added an indicator of the player's health at the bottom left of the screen so that the headcrabs could actually deal damage to you. After that, I created these explosive barrels using particles from this package on the asset store. At this point, I basically had lots of the core mechanics from Half-Life in my game, just with better graphics, and I had no ideas for what else to add. So I asked you guys for some suggestions, and one of you responded with probably the best idea I've ever heard, but I figured that I can make it even better, so I just made these little red head crabs and made them shoot out of a rocket launcher, and then explode on impact using the same script as the barrels. After that, I got some more random models from Sketchfab, as well as some textures from Ambient CG, and put them together into a small little level. And now the game was looking pretty cool, but it was lacking some sound effects. But rather than just taking the easy way out and just downloading some sounds, I decided to make my own. I recently found this really good series on YouTube called Waveform by Marshall McGee. So after watching some of Marshall's videos, I got to work recording some basic sound samples. So I might have gone a little carried away with that, but then I had some pretty good bass recordings to turn into sound effects for the game. And here it is, the final game. Huh? 
Hi, is a uh, Mr. Retro here? Oh yeah, hi. That that's that's me. What's up? I'm here to notify you that we're filing a lawsuit against you. Lawsuit? Well, I haven't even uploaded my video yet. How do you even know what I'm working on? Oh, we always know. Always. Hey, hey, we can talk about this, man. I didn't even do anything. It's legally dis- Alright, we'll see you in court. <sighs> hey, sorry for interrupting your scheduled retro broadcast, but he's busy dying of COVID at the moment. So I'm here to remind you to download Core at the link below, like the video, and most importantly, have a good day.